Hi, I'm Matt Claire, and I wanted to show you the CK Editor Accessibility Checker in Brock University's version of Sakai called Isaac. So the CK Editor is throughout Sakai, and any instance where you have a WYSIWYG editor or a rich text editor in Sakai is an opportunity to enter content and to now ensure that it's accessible. So at Brock University, Brock University's implementation, we have the accessibility checker here on the extreme right. This is based on CK Source's accessibility checker, which you can find out more about at CKSource.com. You can inquire with them about how you may get a copy. Unfortunately, it's not in the compatible license to the Educational Community License 2, which Sakai is distributed under, but individuals, organizations could choose to install this alongside their version of Sakai but at the moment, it can't be distributed with Sakai. So I recommend visiting the site to play with it, but here's an example of how it works here at Brock University. I'll add some text. And first, I'll quickly check to see if this is accessible. Looks fine. But now let me add some content that I know will be an issue. using shift return as a heart, uh, break rule. So I've added in some bullets here and now you know that when you create content for screen readers and other alternative interfaces to the web, it's important to make sure it's structurally accurate. Using asterisks as bullets is not structurally accurate, so hopefully our CK editor can find that. Hey, it's found it. And it's giving us advice about it as well that we should change it into a list. Same goes if I add content one, two, three. It'll identify both of these issues. And if I actually go ahead and correct one of them, run it again see that the initial bullet list is uh, no longer an issue and I can proceed on. So that's some of the items that are um, that some may not think about when they're adding content to their LMS that it catches. I'm going to now add an image so I've added my image here and I'm going to press OK there and if I run the checker it's alerted me that I do not have alternate text on this image so I'll add my alternate text hit quick fix and now it has been updated and there's my additional issues so if I double click again you can see the alternative text is in there as well another issue that can cause a content ad to must be difficult for someone using an alternative or accessible interface to proceed is using tables. It can be very complicated to navigate through alternative means in a table. So here's my table. I add my content and I'll type in that this is this and under this column is that. And I'll run the checker before I hit add here, my original issue. And it's noted that I have a table. And I should add a header to that to give it some structural meaning. So I'm going to uh, let know that I did intend for the header row to be the first uh, row there horizontally. And I'll hit quick fix. You can see the style changed immediately. And so do the properties. And that's how we can create accessible content by having it checked through Accessibility Checker in the CK Editor. CK Editor is perfectly capable of making accessible content and individuals can create it themselves, but the CK Editor Checker for Accessibility can help people understand the kind of decisions that make for more accessible content. This is an example in the Lessons tool in Sakai, but once the CK Editor uh, or CK Sources Accessibility Checker has been added, any instance of the CK Editor in Sakai will have it. 
Thank you very much.